Quintana. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings on around the homestead, a true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. If all men just fly. What in God's name is going on around here? Please help me. You ask. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of His Majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my wood shop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that.
Bloody hell. Can you help me? Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it.
William Johnson's opening up some of that Mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell lumbering will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game huh. and timber? Don't know. Don't much care neither. Feet skulking around these woods. <laughs> You fellas! Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No. I think... Bear me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. Take what you deserve, rebel. Be gone with you! Please. This doesn't con...
What happened? They demanded we give our entire yield to the crown. Warren refused. They killed our animals, salted our earth, then dragged us out. You saw what followed. I'm afraid we have nothing to give you in thanks, stranger. We have nothing left. Perhaps there is something you could do instead. Anything. I live in a small community not far from here. The soil is rich. The people I live with would have need of fresh vegetables, wheat, or corn. If you were to rebuild your farm, you may prosper. What kindness is this? You certainly come see. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. They had a little too much bière and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? North of here. Province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? I am a miner by trade. But it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. I'll come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? Thank God you are here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! She has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. Some here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground.
Thank you so much, Connor. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose yeah, growing there, and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages fertility. Where are you? I'm sorry, this is not a proper conversation given the circumstance. I understand. Not another word on the matter. Prudence! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again. Make a little more noise. Been fixing to trap a cougar I've seen prowling about. The beast has snapped two of my snares already. From what I've seen, its fur is white, mad as it sounds. Its hide would be worth a fortune to the right person. I have never seen a cougar like that. I would like to help you. I'll follow you. of those claw marks. Better shoot true. He's a taste for fresh meat. Seen this before. Looks fresh. He's close. There he goes! We won't get another chance at this. Come on, Connor. We won't see him again after this. This is our only shot. Hurry up. You must be here for my new friend. I was dumping a load, and he went straight in. Lucky I wasn't in there. Very. What are you thinking, Miriam? Flush and fire. Norris can back off. One of us goes in there to draw him out, and the other waits out here to shoot. I will go in. Nice shot! Thank you, Miriam. Hello, sir. Would you like a draft of ale or some bread and cheese? Connor, this here is Oliver and that is Corrine. Great people. Ollie, this is Connor, the man I was talking about. The Lord of a Manor. 
We were passing through his hall and met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty and we had some barrels in the back and... I am no lord, and these are my friends, not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with the cart full of spirits for sale? We were innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military such and such, left us out on a round part. Hey, you should settle here. We could use an inn. Good idea. <laughs> we would. But without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. This should suffice. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. Something's amiss. What's the trouble, Connor? Saw you tear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women. Is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't I need to. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's hurt, I swear you'll be the one here.